Today we're diving into the world of crypto with a super quick and easy guide on how to log in to MetaMask and get started with using it. If you're new to the world of cryptocurrency, MetaMask is a fantastic tool for managing your Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. So let's get started. First things first, let's open MetaMask. If you haven't installed MetaMask yet, you'll need to do that first. MetaMask is available as a browser extension for Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Safari. Or you can download the MetaMask or mobile app for iOS and Android. For this tutorial, we'll use the browser. Go to the extension store of your browser. Just store, search for MetaMask in the search bar and click on Add to Chrome or Equivalent option for browser. Now once it's installed, you'll see the MetaMask Fox icon in the top right corner of your browser. Click on it to open MetaMask. Now, if this is your first time using MetaMask, you'll see a welcome screen. Click on Get Started. If you already have a MetaMask wallet, you'll need to choose Import Wallet or Restore Wallet. If you have a backup seed phrase. For new users, click Create a Wallet. You'll, have, you'll be asked to create a strong password. This password is crucial, so make sure it's unique and secure. Once you've entered your password, click Create. MetaMask will now show you a seed phrase. This is a 12 word backup phrase that you need to keep safe. Write it down and store it in a secure place. Never share this phrase with anyone as it's the key to your wallet. After you've written it down, you'll need to confirm it by selecting the words in the correct order. This ensures you've saved, saved it correctly. Once confirmed, click confirm and that's it. You're now logged into metamask you'll see your account address and balance right there to add funds click on deposit or use the buy button to purchase cryptocurrency directly you can also connect metamask to various decentralized applications and services just make sure to check the permissions and always use reputable sites and that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one